Okay, here we are in Matrix. We're just going to go ahead and jump right in. Uh, we'll go to our Tools course and get our ring rail out there, get going on it. Uh, and from here, we're going to go to our Gems and put a uh, stone on there. And we're going to uh, drag it down just, just a little or so. Hit Enter. And then from here, we're going to slap some uh, profiles on there. I'm going to go a little harsher today on the profile. Uh, we'll go to select uh, our profile over here in this uh, s box here. We can change our profiles. And I'm going to go with something a little harsher, something like this here, I guess. And select it. And then get out of that. And uh, right away, I'm going to drag it over to about here. Hit enter, go back to my stone. Uh, settings, we'll just do a bezel here real quick. Uh, bezel in there. Uh, top thickness just a little bit heavier. Around the 9. Uh, hit enter and I'll... Now let's go back to our profile. Uh, edit it and we want... it's. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, we want our profile to go much higher uh, up our bezel. And then we want it to be coming out around our bezel. That's pretty good. And we're going to go ahead and uh, mirror that one over here in our dynamics. Just hit mirror and it throws one on the other side. And then we're going to hold down shift and put one right there in the middle. And we're going to drag that one out actually a little further, okay? And then we're going to go to our uh, uh, mid and uh, put another sh uh, rail on there. And this one we're going to bring it into about a, I don't know, around a f f four or something, four or five, that's good. And we're definitely going to make that uh, thinner here, around two and a half. Uh, and then we're going to mirror that one over here in our dynamic command, mirror. Hold down shift, another one down at the bottom. Uh, this one's already 2.5, so we're going to play around with this one, make it down to like around a 3. Okay, and we're going to hit enter. So let's go ahead and do a sweep on this and take a look at it, see what it looks like. All right, uh, surface uh, one, dynamic, uh, ring rail. First profile, sec second profile, third profile, fourth, fifth, and mid. And hit enter. And we're going to make that a closed surface, OK? So I don't really like that center one there. We'll go ahead and accept that, but I'm going to do some adjustments. We'll take that mid there. Uh, and we'll edit it, the middle one. And uh, we're going to take it down. Okay. And I think we're going to take it in a little too. Just a little. And we're going to uh, accept that one, but we're going to move to this other one here. And we want to drag this one in just a little. All right. Let's take a side view. Okay. This one is okay, but don't really like it so let's take this one it's kinda got a little concave shape going on there right so we'll bump that out and we'll come down here and we'll bump that out a little bit okay let's go back to this one let's give it harsh and we'll come down here how did that one get in there Let's take that one and we'll go over here and uh, delete profile. Okay, they're much better. All right, let's take this one. That one's okay. This one here is the one that's kind of messing things up here, huh? So let's drag that out a little bit so it has a little bit better shape coming in. And then we'll go down here, play around with these. Okay, so we got a nice, thick, heavy ring. Now we can hollow this out, but we're not going to do that in this video. Uh, and I'll just go ahead and accept that. Yeah. 
Okay, I mean, really, this is the part we want uh, because we want to sh uh, show a curve between or gems between two curves. So uh, right now we have this. I'm going to take my yellow right now and go ahead and change it to blue and just turn it off for right now. Uh, I'm going to go to curves and I'm going to uh, go to an ISO curve and select my surface and kind of zoom in here, check it. You can go down a little bit, so I'm going to drag it down, not too far. And I'll accept that. I'm going to right click and click on my surface again, which will reactivate the curve, uh, ISO curve. And I'm going to take it around, leave it a little space there, and hit enter. Okay. So at this point, we have our two curves that we're going to run our gems through. Uh, so I'm going to go to gems. I'm going to go to uh, a cur gems between two curves, select my curves, one, two, and there's my gems. And as you can see, they're all kind of uh, on there. <laughs> and it, first thing you notice, though, uh, is they're the point to point, right? This one's kind of jacked up, but we can, we're going to work on that. Uh, so right now, it goes from point to point, gems between two, that's what it does. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to drag my end around to this side, okay, uh, and go to my uh, front view just to get a look. Okay, it's right there at the mid, so uh, that's what I want. And now uh, there's two things. It's right on the curve, and there's no space, right? So if we need to go over to our dynamic command and first collect our surface and hit that so it moves some of the stones around a little bit but not enough right so a distance between gems we'll hold off on that one we'll take uh, our inside metal so this will give us a little extra space between those lines so we'll make those gem stones smaller if you go to the right it'll make them outside the lines if you go to the left it'll take them inside the lines and that's what we want inside the lines uh, so I took it down to a one negative one uh, a little bit okay. Uh, take it down to negative two. Okay, so much better. All right, and now I want to put some space in there, uh, f space between my gems. So let's uh, get a little space going on there. Now that looks good. And I'm going to drag my end back up. That's fine. And I'm going to take this one just a little bit over. There we go. And that looks pretty good. Uh, you can drag these down as far as you want or whatever. I'm just going to leave them like that. And then I'm going to uh, hit... Uh, uh, go ahead and hit in Enter. And I'm going to take these gems and I'm going to mirror them to the other side. And actually, maybe maybe I could use mirror here yeah there we go so there it's dynamic mirror on Y so they're on both sides now I'm gonna go ahead and hit uh, enter accept that and I'm gonna hide my oh, I'm gonna hide my uh, ring and uh, I'm going to go to curves and grab me a uh, line curve and make sure my snaps are turned on and I'm going to go to the front view so I can get a good look here and I want to draw the section over here so let's take this uh, well actually let's take it is it on my quads on? no uh, okay let's put my quads on quad to quad we'll just take it straight across there and we'll take it right away and we'll uh, mirror from F4 over to the other side. Okay, so now I'm going to turn my ring back on real quick, and we're going to go ahead and boolean this uh, head head on there. I'm going to actually drag that up just a little. Oh, broke history, so no, I'm not. Go here. Go to my gym on rail. Drag it up a little. There we go. Okay. Alright, uh, and then I'm just going to go ahead and do a Boolean union real quick. 
Uh, so solids, Boolean union, first service enter, second service enter, enter. Okay. And right now it's solid, but we're going to punch a hole in that later. Um, <coughs> maybe not in this video, but because this is really what we're wanting to showcase. Uh, so at this point I'm going to hide my ring again and I'm going to uh, take these curves and I'm going to split with this and this midsection hit enter and I'm going to take these two yellow curves put them on gray and hide them and at this point I'm going to take all these curves here and I'm going to join them together all right so now we have this all right so the next thing I want to do is uh, get a channel in there right uh, so I'm going to uh, select my curve I'm going to go to surface push pull and there right away boom there's a indentation of 0.5 but we don't want it at 0.5 we're gonna make it a little bit thinner maybe a 0.4 <laughs> yeah that looks good uh, and then hit enter and then I'm gonna take my gemstones I'm going to group them all together and then I'm going to drag them down onto that surface so when I look at the top you really can't uh, see they're kind of really all flush with the this uh, the surface right yeah okay so I'm gonna take my ring turn it to green and then from here it's just uh, the normal stuff uh, add prongs there is a little trick here uh, because uh, you only have one end right and you don't have a start control uh, so there is a little uh, manipulation you have to do here uh, so right now first thing I like to do always is uh, get my height uh, I never like the height they are when they're out there I want some metal to be able to push down on my uh, stones and I'm going to give it a little nudge maybe uh, nudge yeah that's good and I'm going to actually make them just a little bit smaller. Yeah, that's good. Okay, and as you can see, the, the end ones did not do nothing. So let's go over to our dynamic command. And, uh, well, first, yeah, no, uh, go up, go to end, and we'll come down here, enable end prong controls. All right, and from here, what we want to do is uh, find out first which sides are in. So let's do a nudge. Uh, we want them to move away from the stone. So okay, so it's this side here. So I want to zoom in on this side, and actually that looks pretty good. Uh, and uh, let's see, in diameter, we'll go down to not bigger, smaller, uh, and. Uh, Point four eight. Ah, oh, forget it. Point four eight typed in. Okay, there we go. All right, so this side's fine. That side's not right. So let's go ahead and take those prongs for now, and we're going to take our prongs, and we're going to ungroup them. Did it ungroup them? Yeah, okay. So I'm going to take the prongs and uh, I'm going to hold down control. I'm going to select this one, this one, this one, and this one, and then I'm going to go regroup those others back together again. So they're regrouped, okay, and these are not. So I'm going to take these two uh, and delete them and take these two over here and mirror them from F4 holding down shift. Now I'm going to take all of purple and uh, regroup them back together. Okay, so there we go. There we have it. All you have to do now is put your cutters on there and you have a, uh, a decent, uh, well, a decent cutout going on or with uh, gems on curves, in between two curves. Let's uh, go here. Let's go to Matrix Classic. There we go. And you can kind of get an idea of what we got going on here. 
but that's uh, that's how you do the gyms between two curves it's pretty simple it uh, really does a lot of the work for you if you were trying to put a cutter out there you know a channel cutter it would really mess it all up so this is a, a really good way to be able to put uh, gyms between two curves from here all it is is uh, putting your uh, cutters on the gemstones uh, mirroring it, everything over to the other side and doing the exact same thing to the other side and then you can do uh, something here which we'll do in another video at a later date uh, but there you have it hope it helps uh, if it does please uh, leave a like subscribe and uh, a comment and share the video uh, thanks for watching and good designing